With the kids off of school and the wonderful winter weather, a lot of people will be heading out to ski or snowboard. So we're here with Jane Eshbaugh at Holiday Valley. Now, if you can't see right now, the slopes are just about open. So my question for you is how are they preparing out there? Well, we start preparing the night before. As soon as the lights go off, we start making snow, and they go out and groom all the slopes. They take a machine that takes the old snow from yesterday, the new snow that fell overnight, and mix it all up and lay it back down to a beautiful new carpet. Now, people can't see the beautiful lodge that we're standing in, so tell us about this. I know that it, it was put up very quickly. Yeah, we uh, started last March and completed it in December. We're in the T-Bar right now, uh, coming out into the uh, upstairs room. It's a beautiful room with a cathedral ceiling. Uh, we also use it for conferences uh, as well. And now for the people out there that do snow or snowboard, I'm sure they're curious about the conditions out. What's skiing going to be like today? How's it going to go today? Well, I think it's going to be really nice today. We um, were able to make some snow last night. Uh, we got about seven inches of new snow, and they groomed that all back in with the, with the base, and it's going to be really nice. And what's, what's going on? What upcoming events are you guys excited for? Oh, we have all kinds of events coming up. One is very special called Boarding for Breast Cancer. It's on February 16th, and it uh, in part raises money for Camp Good Days, the women's oncology program. Now, a lot of people out there might be curious. They might want to try skiing or snowboarding, but they haven't done it yet. Now, I got my first snowboarding experience here, but for the people that miss that, tell us what you do to help get those beginners on the slopes. Well, first thing is you go to the Creekside Lodge. They take care of everything there, your equipment, uh, making sure it fits. They set you up with a lesson, and they teach you all you need to know to learn how to turn and stop and ride the lift so that you have a good base to start with. Now, can you also get private instruction? Are they going to walk you through the steps of learning how to actually ski or snowboard? Oh, yeah. You can actually uh, arrange for a private lesson, but a lot of people take a less, like, like to take a lesson with other people because it's fun. And, uh, yeah, they take you from knowing nothing, learning how to put the equipment on, all the way up to where you can learn how to turn and stop. All right. Well, thank you so much, Shane. In a little bit, we are going to hop outside, talk to people on the slopes. We are back on the slopes at Holiday Valley. We found some skiers here. So, Cameron, tell me how it's been going so far. Uh, it's been good. The snow's been all right. Now, you said you were here Saturday. How do these conditions differ from uh, your last trip? Uh, yesterday was pretty warm, and the snow was kind of all melty, and today it's pretty nice. Now, Bill, tell me, why are you here so early? Is it, is it the best time of day to kind of get on the slopes? We like to get here early and make first tracks. So we leave early, and we uh, grab something to eat, and then we try to be like the first one on the lift. That's, uh, that's kind of our goal. Now, what, what's so cool about being the first person that goes down the hill? Well, I think that you make the, you make the fresh tracks, and the snow's all grim, and it just that grim snow feels so good under your skis. Now, I'm going to turn it over here to Jane. Now, it's pretty chilly out right now. What, what's your advice on staying warm when you're uh, skiing or snowboarding? Well, you want to dress in layers. Um, don't get overheated before you go out. Stay kind of cool and then put the layers on right when you go out. And if it's really cold, protect your face um, with a scarf or a neck warmer. Um, even Vaseline on your nose and on your ears really helps a lot. Now, we have about a minute left. Tell me how the season's been going so far for you guys. Well, it's been a little up and down, but right now it's gorgeous, and we're going to get a lot more snow and cold, so it's looking good for now on out. And this is just sort of midway through the season. How late do you guys go into the year? Well, our target closing date is April 7th. And as long as the snow is nice, you're going to keep it open that long? Oh, yeah. Right, now, if you're coming down for an entire weekend, you hit the slopes, what else is there to do at Holiday Valley? You have to tell these guys about the mountain coaster. <laughs> Oh, the mountain coaster is so much fun. You uh, ride a, a car up to the top of the hill, and then it switches back and forth, goes around loops and things down through the trees. It's a lot of fun. You have control. You can speed it up or slow it down as you'd like. And, of course, if you hit the slopes, you have to stop in the lodge and end with a nice cup of hot chocolate, as always. But right now, we're going to hand it back into the studio to see what's happening over there.